interested if methylene blue can in help intense cycling training or tempo rides by taking it as a pre-workout. Also, after the workout, taking it will help recovery. And what about the dosages before? This is a fantastic question about exercise, cycling, endurance, dosing, and understanding how best to use methylene blue in this capacity. So this is really cool. Methylene blue can act just like oxygen in the mitochondria, which means that it can help you make energy for longer from an aerobic perspective, meaning that you can maintain a heart rate longer, typically with methylene blue on board, compared to having it not on board. And we've seen this clinically and anecdotally, it hasn't been studied in research yet, but it's not subtle if you get the dosing right. And the interesting thing about having methylene blue on board too, which we're just understanding now from people that are high performers, is that typically when we recover from exercise, we have to get our heart rate down to a certain amount, a certain beats per minute to actually have that recovery. But with methylene blue on board, it seems that you can recover at a higher heart rate overall, which is a fantastic thing because you can recover faster that way if you don't have to get your heart rate down as much to do it. So from an endurance training perspective, we think methylene blue has a fantastic potential to help people, especially because they can increase their aerobic capacity. When it comes to dosing for cycling and endurance training, it really just depends on how much you're going to be doing. But starting off at 8 to 16 milligrams of methylene blue is likely the best place to start and then seeing how you feel and redosing every three to five hours if you have a very long endurance training ongoing. Mm -hmm.